Welcome to the One Source Supplies DTF Gang Sheet Builder. Whether you're new to the tool or just need a quick refresher, this tutorial will walk you through everything you need to know to create, customize, and finalize your designs with ease. If you're looking for something specific, you can skip ahead to these timestamps. Otherwise, let's dive in and get started. Before you get started with your design, there are a few options to choose from. If this is your first time using the Gang Sheet Builder, we recommend you choose the Start Brand New option. If you've ordered from us in the past and saved your design under your account, you can quickly access it by choosing the Open a Previously Ordered option. If you are working with exact specifications with design sizes, quantity, or sheet length, choosing the Auto Build option may be your best choice. Bulk design orders can be easily put together using this option. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll go with Start Brand New. The first lesson we'll cover is how to view your active gang sheet and how to quickly switch between different designs. You can access all your active gang sheets on the right side here. You can also minimize this side menu by pressing this arrow. Here you can also add a new design by clicking Add New Design. You can also change which of your gang sheets you are actively viewing by clicking to select them. If you would like to rename your gang sheets to keep better track of your designs, you can do so by first clicking on this icon, selecting the text, and then filling out the name you would like. Next we'll cover how to change the size of the sheet that you are creating your design on. This can be managed by clicking on this drop-down menu at the upper left of the Gang Sheet Builder here. You can select any size ranging from 22 inches by 12 inches, all the way up to 22 inches by 360 inches, which is 30 feet vertically. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to be using the smallest size sheet we offer, 22 inches horizontally by 12 inches vertically, or one foot. Now we will be covering how to properly upload any image of your choosing, as well as our recommendations for image specifications so that you have the highest quality print possible. The Upload Image button is located at the top left of the Gang Sheet Builder. Here, please note the recommended image resolution for DTFs is 300 dpi. Formats supported include the following file types, PNG, JPG, JPEG, PSD, AI, .eps, and PDF. To check and see if your artwork is using these recommended best practices, Please check your file's properties by finding your custom file, right-clicking and selecting Properties, and then selecting the Details tab. You can find these details here. Here is a list of the optimal file specifications. Feel free to pause or screenshot these for future reference. If you're having trouble finding your image's resolution and pixel density, you can still upload it into our Gang Sheet Builder and it will inform you on the resolution guide panel. Don't worry, we will cover this later on in this tutorial. If your image contains a white or any other color background that you do want to remove, we recommend using another program to do so. Our Gang Sheet Builder does have a built-in background removal tool, but it is limited in its effectiveness. Canva, Photoshop, and other photo editing programs are the best options when it comes to add transparency to your image file. Once you've uploaded your image into the Gang Sheet Builder and added it into your design, you're going to want to go ahead and check a few things. With your image selected, you can go ahead and look at the left side of the Gang Sheet Builder. Here, you will see sizing specifications. Here, it will show what size your image will be printed at when the order is fulfilled. It is important to know ahead of time the exact size that you want your design to be. The Aspect Ratio Locking option will lock your aspect ratio so that when you resize, your image will not stretch horizontally or vertically. If you would like your image to stretch one way or the other, simply disable the Aspect Ratio Lock. On the top left of your Gang Sheet field, you can see a guide called Show Resolution Lines. This is a guide to show you whether or not your image with your set size will be optimally printed with a crisp, appropriate resolution. Selecting our image again, we can see both the sizing specifics we have set, as well as the DPI of our image. We highly recommend printing your images at or above 300 DPI. A colored line also will appear around your image when you select it, to indicate either optimal, good, bad, and terrible resolution. Green for optimal, yellow for good, red for bad, and black for terrible. Allow me to demonstrate this now. 
As you can see, the larger I make the image, the smaller the DPI becomes, and if I take it even larger, the colored outline begins to indicate a decrease in image quality. It is important to be mindful of this when creating your print. Auto duplicate is similar to auto build. This can be used if you would like multiple identical images in your design. Once you get the correct size, you can use this tool to easily copy and paste. For example, say I want six additional copies of this cat design. First, I would double check my sizing, which in this example is three inches by 4.83 inches. I would enter the number of the additional copies I want. So I would type in six and then select duplicate. Let's take a moment to cover the add text function. This is a built-in tool in the Gang Sheet program that allows for you to add text to your design. Text boxes function much like another image in your design. There are both sizing and duplication options just like an uploaded image. To change the text, you can double click to select the text box to change the text within. It's important to note that the program only has a limited amount of fonts available. If you'd like to add text to your image with a specific font not in the program, we recommend again using another program like Canva or Photoshop and adding the text manually to your image or creating a new image to upload for your design. Our Gang Sheet program also has a number of prefabricated images that you can utilize for free for your designs. Accessing them is much like uploading an image of your own and the prefab designs act the same as any image you might have uploaded. On the far left of the Gang Sheet Builder, you can see a side panel listing. Home, Uploads, Gallery, and Settings. Select Gallery. There are a number of different categories, each with a library of images that you can use. For this example, we'll import a silly ice cream design. Clicking on one of the options will automatically drop it into your design. There is no need to click and drag. As you can see here, my ice cream image is getting in the way of some of my other images that I already have in my gang sheet. If the program detects overlapping images, it will display a warning message at the top of the screen. Your overlapping designs will also be highlighted with blue lines. There are a few ways to fix this. You could simply drag the design away to an empty space, but I want to show another way to do it as well. You can automatically organize your gang sheet by selecting the auto nest function at the top right of the gang sheet. Please note that this may change how your sheet is laid out. This function automatically selects the optimal positioning for all of your designs to maximize free space on the sheet. So, as you can see here by selecting Auto Nest, my images are no longer overlapping as well as rearranged. Auto nesting can help you free up some space if you're looking to squeeze a little more out of your final design, but don't want to spend time clicking and dragging all your images around. Now we'll go back to quickly cover the auto build function. It is located on the right side of the gang sheet builder where we went earlier to view our active gang sheets. Selecting auto build will take us to a status screen. Now, since we already have our gang sheet built out, this screen will show us the status of all uploaded elements into our sheet. Here we can see both our custom image, gallery image, as well as our added text. We can see for each of them their size specifications, as well as the resolution sizing. This is an easy way to check and see if all your images are at the correct resolution instead of clicking through each one on the gang sheet field. We can also make changes to quantity or even add additional images on the screen. Let's make some changes to the quantity of our images and then click on apply. This will take us back to the gang sheet field. And as you can see, we have changed the quantity of our images automatically. Auto build is useful if you're really familiar with the gang sheet builder and have a list of specific images and specific sizes that you're trying to build quickly instead of doing it manually. Next, we'll cover the settings tab. This allows you to change a few minor options from one menu, as well as change a few visual aids to assist you in your design process. Settings is located on the vertical menu on the left side of the screen. Here we have toggles for resolution lines and overlapping lines in case you want to turn these off. We recommend leaving both of these options enabled. Snap when moving toggle enables and disables the option to show the aligning lines that can appear when dragging your images around the gang sheet page. The Visual Aid tab exists for you to change the color of the background of the DTF Gang Sheet Builder field. It's important to note that doing this will not change the color of your design's background. This simply exists to serve as a visual aid to assist in your design process.
To save your design for future use or to add it to your cart for purchase, please select either save or save and add to cart. Hit save design and name it something memorable. Now, if I want to open this design at a later date, I can access it on the right side of the gang sheet using the open from previous designs tab. If you haven't already, make sure you create an account with us. This allows you to store your designs in our online shop so you can access them in the future. Before you place your order via the save and add to cart button, make sure that your design is exactly how you want it. Double check your sizing, image quantity, resolution, and image overlap. A confirmation form will appear. This will automatically notify you if your design contains overlapping images, low resolution images, or if your images are overlapping against the edge of the safe area on the gang sheet. If your image does contain low resolution or overlapping images, you still have the option to manually override this by selecting the Print Anyway button. You are also required to acknowledge on this form that you have the full rights to print the artwork included in your design, as well as acknowledge that your design is exactly the way you want it. Confirming the required tabs on this form will take you to your order confirmation page, offering you one last chance to preview your artwork before placing your final order. And that's a wrap. You're now ready to build, customize, and order your gang sheet with confidence. If you ever need a refresher, feel free to revisit this tutorial or jump to the section you need. Got questions? We're here to help. Now go bring those designs to life.